This is your evidence of evolution exam. Number one, which of the following is probably the best explanation for the fact Arctic penguins cannot fly, although evidence suggests their ancestors could fly? The cold wind of Antarctica would make flight impossible, therefore they have lost the ability to fly. Ancestral penguins, that means their ancestors, Without large wings, were better able to swim and feed in the water, and therefore passed on their genes to their offspring. Penguins live and feed in water, so they don't need to fly. Ancestral penguins do not use their wings for long periods of time. Therefore, today's penguins have only, a only tiny, non-functioning wings. Question number two. It's a drop-down. The bones of a human arm are homologous to structures in all of the following except... What are they not like? Well flipper, bat wing, bird wing, butterfly wing. Three, fossils of many intermediate, that means in between stages, of species have not been found because new types of organisms appear suddenly without much changes to the past organisms. Fossils are very rare, hard to find, and only a small fraction have been discovered. All fossils are the same age. The age of many fossils are calculated incorrectly. Number four. Your friend remarks the giraffe stretched its neck, reaching for higher leaves. As a result, its offspring inherited longer necks. Which statement is the best response to correct your friend's misconception? Overproduction of offspring leads to a struggle for survival, competing for resources. Traits acquired during an organism's life are not usually passed on to the offspring. Disuse, means not using, of an organ may lead to its eventual di disappearance. Only favorable adaptations are passed on to offspring. Question 5. The northern elephant seal population was reduced by overhunting to individuals in the 1890s. Although the population rebounded to 30,000 individuals, there are only a few alleles in the gene pool. This is an example of... This is a drop-down. Is it speciation... Gene flow, genetic drift, or mutation. Six, which of these structures would be considered a vestigial structure? A, B, or C? Structure B, I mean A, structure B, structure C, or structure A and B? Seven, which of the following would be the best example to show mammals and reptiles are at some point in history had a common ancestor? Similarities of diet of extinct reptiles and modern mammals. Similarities in the average lifespans of modern reptiles and modern mammals. Fossils of ancient reptiles and mammals appear together in the same layers of rock. Fossils show the gradual change in skull shape from reptile-like organisms to mammal-like organisms. Question number eight. The human embryo and all other vertebrate embryos have gill slits. This best supports the idea that vertebrates are evolutionarily related and they have common ancestors in history. Humans are descended from ancient fish. All embryos can breathe underwater for a time period. Or humans become fish before they become human. Question nine, another drop down. Bacteria being resistant to antibiotics is an example of, and resistant means um, the antibiotics doesn't kill them. This is an example of natural selection, genetic drift, mutations, common ancestor. Ten, according to natural selection, which individuals tend to survive? Those with characteristics the parents acquired through the greater use. Those characteristics the animal and plant breeders value. Those with characteristics best suited to their environment. Those that have characteristics that are in a common population. Eleven. Any change in the genetic sequence. It is random and can, cannot be predicted. Is that an adaption? a mutation, a variation, or gene pool. Correctly identify the vestigial structures listed below. 
That means there may be more than one. It's a checkbox. Wisdom teeth, hair on pigs, appendix, bird and bat wings. 13. Dinosaurs are often depicted as lizards because skulls resemble present-day lizards. Fossilized skin shows scales. Lizards have scales. Fossilized eggs were found. Lizards lay eggs. D. All of these. 14. The introduction of new genes into the gene pool of a population occurs through the process of survival of the fittest, competition between organisms, mutation, or over overproduction. 15. Evidence of the changes in a species' physical characteristics over long geological periods can be best shown through a study of the homologous structures of pres or I should say of present day species. Comparative biochemistry, bio means life, chemistry is chemicals, life chemicals, the fossil record, or comparative embryology. 16. It is likely that ducks developed web feet because ducks needed web feet for efficient swimming. This attempt to explain the development of web feet in ducks most nearly matches the theory of evolution proposed by Jean Lamarck, Gregor Mendel, Charles Darwin, or Francis Crick. Use the following data to explain which species is most likely to the unknown species. That means most common ancestor. Look at the DNA sequences. Comparing DNA, which one is most related? Species number one is most closely related to the common ancestor. Species number three. Species number four. Or none of the species are related to the common ancestor. 18. Why is it beneficial for a population to have variations in the gene pool? Species have a better chance to adapt. Less likely for species to go extinct. Species have better chance to survival, survive a disease in population, or D, all of these. 19. Based on the characteristics provided in the chart below, which organisms are most closely related? So you look at mammals, birds, modern reptiles, theropod dinosaurs. Look at their characteristics all the way across. Are birds and modern reptiles, modern reptiles and theropod dinosaurs, birds and theropod dinosaurs, or mammals and birds. 20. This picture best represents the lobe fin fish over time, early amphibian. Does this best represent homologous structures, predicted mutations, evolution of early amphibians, or genetic drift of lobe finned fish? 20. What trait separates lamprey salamanders on this cladogram? So you look for lamprey and salamanders. Read the derived characteristics. Is it jaws, amniotic egg, jaws and four walking legs, or vertebral column and jaws? 22. Each letter on this cladogram represents a derived characteristic. Which letter most likely represents jumping legs? Letter A, letter E, letter G, or letter H. 23. A common ancestor for both species B and C could be at position number... A, B, C, D. So, position number 1... Two, three, four. Question 24. This picture best represents homologic structures, vestigial structures, analogic structures, or evolutionary adaptations. And question 25. When comparing species of organisms, which of the following statements is false? The bigger the difference in amino acids shows a bigger DNA similarity. Homologous structures show evidence of a common ancestor. The less difference in amino acids shows the bigger the DNA similarity. Or similar embryonic stages shows evidence of similar DNA. Good luck, and at any time you can rewind this 